Hello and welcome to the Shift Asia in-depth series of Malaysia International Food and Beverage Trade Fair, MIFB 2024, the podcast where we dive deep into the heart of sustainable food and beverage innovations across Asia. My name is Frida Liu, and as we build up to MIFB uh, happening in Kuala Lumpur from July 17 and 19, each episode will shine light on the pioneers who are reshaping the industry. So whether you're a business owner, a food enthusiast, or simply curious about the future of food, join us as we uncover the taste of tomorrow, today. Today, we're focusing on a pioneering avocado smoothie business that exemplifies the zero food waste concept by repurposing every part of the avocado and discover how they're transforming the discarded avocado pits and skins into vibrant natural dyes for clothing and accessories, so beyond smoothies, right? So we're going to learn how this business is blending nutrition with fashion in a bid to promote sustainability in two distinct industries. I'm here with Chai Nhiet Fung from Aversum. Uh, so very nice to be speaking to you, That's Chai. Um, and I know you you are also from, from Borneo, from, yep, Sabah from Sabah as well. Exactly, uh, right? yes. <laughs> and I want to find out, you, there's so many things to look at in terms of uh, sustainability. Why avocado of all the fruits? Okay, uh, let's talk about a uh, story since young. Okay, so yep, uh, I'm from Sabah. So we see avocado everywhere in Sabah. There are a lot of avocado farms. They sell avocado at the roadside. So back then, uh, we didn't really fancy of avocado. Mm. Yeah, even my parents dig it out the avocado flesh and mix with condensed milk for me to eat. I rejected. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't like the taste. Then. Yeah. Then. Then. Okay. Yeah. So uh, until I reach, uh, come to KL, I meet my another avocado halves. Okay. Which is my another half. Uh. Okay. So we met Australian avocado. So yeah, we were re very reluctant to try, but then. I have to listen to her. Lah. <laughs> okay. And it's so funny, right? Sometimes we take it for granted. When we have it in our backyard, we never appreciate exactly. it. So when I go to Sabah, I was like, how can people, you know, it's like it's everywhere. I was so happy and so affordable as well, right? Yeah. 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 So from there, we feel, uh, we feel good inside out mm. from the avocado. Okay. okay. So we are, we've been, since then, we're exploring uh, avocado toast, smoothies, ah, or yeah. sometimes even put the flesh on our face. Oh, yes. To soup our face. Yes. Uh, improve actually, our skin. Yeah, that's actually, really work. it's amazing, right? This food is amazing. Yep. Do, you, do you know how much avocados are wasted uh, and its impact on the environment, in, not just in Malaysia, maybe even around the world? Okay, in Malaysia alone, uh, there are about 3,000 tons of avocado imported, mm. uh, be it from anywhere in the, uh, in the world, from around the world, like California, uh, Philippines, mm. yeah, there were 3,000 tons imported to uh, Malaysia every year. Right. So about 20% of them are wasted. Wow. Yeah, why wasted? Because uh, mainly surplus. Why right. surplus? Because they are perfectly imperfect. Okay. Yeah, as in uh, very odd shape. Right. Dark skins. Okay. Scars. Oh, like this, huh? to me it's yeah. fine. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. but to people, uh, yes. especially the retails, they have they were, to filter up. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why all this will be returned to the supplier and supplier couldn't get rid of it. So okay. in the end, it's going to the landfill. So we know food waste is contributing to greenhouse gas emission. Right. And you're yeah. talking 3,000 tonnes, 20% huh? of 3,000 tonnes? There tons. is 600 tonnes. Wow, yeah. okay. That's... So imagine you bought 10 avocados from the supermarket and yeah. two of them are wasted. Right, okay, yeah. so that imagine that picture, right? Yeah. Now, so your, your avocado is currently the one you're using largely from Australia. Yes, we are currently using uh, the avocado from Australia because of their consistent mm. uh, quality and consistent supply. Okay, so and right now your main product are brownies and smoothies, right? Uh, what, what else can what do you do? Okay, we also repurpose the overripe avocado into uh, natural handmade soap uh, mm. made from the local enterprise called Sopan Santun. So, okay. so we work together, we have this idea uh, to repurpose avocado f uh, flesh into mm. soaps, which also soothes our skin, uh, moisturize our skins. Okay, yep. so this is a, a collaboration with them? Yep, this is our collaboration, yep. Uh, they also do other, with other themselves, and then, but this is a collaboration with Avosum? Yep, that's right. Oh, okay, and it's so cute, so pan santun. So pan santun, yes, so okay. we have uh, two sizes, one uh, Small piece and the big piece, big okay. piece. Yep. You know, and just back to the whole idea of zero food waste. Are people concerned about zero food waste, or people don't care? You have to teach people. Uh, still, we have to work harder to keep on telling story. 
Okay. Yeah. So uh, let, let me share a story. Like two days ago, we were in the community market. Mm. So uh, yeah, I show this auntie. Mm. Uh, uh, we are, I'm using this avocado. So I'm. I, so she asked, "What are you giving me? Such ugly avocado. Okay. I, want, I want a nicer one." Right. So I told her that uh, you shouldn't judge the book by the by its cover. Okay. So I slice it in front of her, and it came out so buttery, so creamy. Right. Yeah. So I believe that uh, for zero waste concept and sustainability matters, uh, we need to work hard to educate more people. Right. Yeah. Especially the younger generations. And actually, at the end of the day, right, it's what you eat inside, not so much what you eat Correct. outside. And uh, I know when I see avocado this ripe, I know it's time for guacamole. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's time for butter toast. Yep. Uh, well, in the avocado butter yep. toast as well, yep. right? Yeah. So this is uh, people's. Uh, perspective, uh. so okay. they don't want to see odd shape or this. So we tell them, just like humans, some people are short, some people are tall, some people are fat. So, but doesn't mean they are bad people. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Exhibit A. Exactly. Now, now we're talking about. So you've got your soaps you use from the the flesh, right, for this, right? Um, and what else? How did you discover the use of the the avocado skin and the the seed? Okay. So right. yeah, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we participate participated in a lot of community and uh, artisan market. Mm -hmm. So after dig out all the flesh for smoothies, right, all these are left out. Yeah. I mean, so one uh, very fine day, mm. they are just over here, right, uh, under my table, right. uh, on the fabric. Okay. So uh, instead of thinking how to discarding them, so I was I try to figure out how to turn this uh, waste yeah. into something beauty. Right. Okay, so when I pick it up again, and it naturally printed on the white fabric in okay. brown color, so exactly the same color like ah. this. Yeah. So as you can see, so uh, <laughs> I mean, nature color is right. so so beautiful. So, so you're so. just doing a couple of things, t-shirts, tote bags, that sort of thing as well. Yep, and also we are exploring a few accessories like a furoshiki wrap, so to promote sustainability gifting. Ah, so so right now you don't have a physical store yet. Yeah, at the moment, we only operate online and sometimes we participated in pop-ups and artisan markets uh, during the weekend. Okay. Yeah. And when you do something like this, do you think about competition? Is, this a, is there a low barrier of entry? Uh, you know, if people want to do this business as well? Uh, this is... Uh, for, for this part, right? Uh, it's all about uh, how to plan and execute things. Right. I mean, if you can access to... Uh, the supplier selling avocado, mm -hmm. you definitely can do business. Okay. Okay. But then it's all about how to how you manage it, how you manage the inventory. Especially you know, right? Uh, avocado is so fragile; mm. they cannot keep in the fridge for more than five days. It right. will go over, right? So you uh, all this have to manage really carefully. Mm. And I would say it's a low barrier also. So. Uh, executing is the partner. Okay. Yeah. And then, so right now you are okay. Uh, uh, people can go to your website and then they can get everything. They can get the your, what? What do you sell on your website? Largely the smoothies or all the other products as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is on uh, our in our uh, Instagram. Okay. Yeah, so we have, our smoothies are on Grab Food and Shopee Food. Mm -hmm. As for the uh, dry product like the soaps, can uh, purchase it on Shopee. Okay, you can purchase in Shopee or you go to, to Sopan Santun and... and Sopan and Santun or even our pop-up, yeah, to come, right. come by our store. <laughs> okay, so you don't know... How, so people who go to your social media will know where you are yep. uh, popping up soon. Popping up, yes, popping, yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, thanks for, thanks for sharing. Thank you, man. And then the, with a humble avocado, and uh, you've been watching the Shift Asia in-depth series with Malaysia International Food and Beverage Trade Fair, MIFB 2024. And of course, it was a pleasure to bring you today's story of innovation and impact in the FB sector, much more than the FB sector, you've got soaps and shirts. Uh, so the conversation doesn't end here. Join us at the MIFB Trade Fair this July uh, to see these sustainable practices in action and discover how you can be part of this exciting industry transformation.